We are about to embark upon a series of strange and exciting, dangerous adventures. Adventures that will lead us to all parts of the world. Hello and welcome to another Bad Comic Review. This time we're looking at Daisy Issue 1 from Dark Horse Comics. Story and art by Colin Lorimer. Colors by Joanna LaFuente and Anita Vu. Cover colors by Anita Vu. Lettering by Jim Campbell. Associate editor was Jenny Blank. Edited by Chris Warner. We start off with this lady getting up and there's dead animals around her and she has all sorts of like physical problems. And she's telling a story to these kids and it's a story about some fallen angels from the book of Genesis that had children that became giants and then we jump over to this lady looking for her son and she traced a phone call to this small town and somebody claimed to know something about her child so they end up out at this farm because she had the phone number traced in her encounter with this woman daisy we uncover that daisy is very very tall and then things take a real sideways turn and we're left with a little bit more of the story about the fallen angels and an ending that tells us a little bit about what's going on but not a whole lot it's an interesting story it's obviously a horror tale and it has a real biblical overtone to it but you get indications that this is not quite the story that you see in the bible because what they're reading from is clearly not the bible so it's an interesting take on a parable told in the bible but it's got a much darker turn to it it seems like it could be really interesting but i don't really get where they're going with it just yet i'll probably read issue two it seems to lack a serious protagonist though so i'm not sure if if we're just focusing on the bad guys or how this is supposed to play out. I thought the cover was really interesting, that's why I picked it up, but I don't really know where they're going with this series or anything like that yet. It really didn't give a good indication as to that. So it seems to be a villain-focused horror book, and it was really well written. I thought it was pretty interesting. It was a good read, well done overall. I thought the art was pretty solid. Not my favorite style, but it's good. It's really well done for what it is, and I think the artist probably should try and get a job at Marvel and and get rid of some of the crappy artists over there. But for a Dark Horse book, I was really impressed. Paper quality was solid. So the cover's a bit thin. Probably could have done a little better there. But the paper quality was a major step up from what I've been seeing from Dark Horse for the last few years. So hopefully that's a good sign. And I will pick up issue two. I thought it was pretty solid. And it's got a very cinematic flair to the book. So that really sold me on it. So we'll see how it plays out. But for now, this is a recommendation. I didn't feel cheated for my money. And I was pretty entertained and hooked up well enough to see where the next issue goes. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future reviews. If you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, links are in the description for my merchandise store and other support methods. And as always, we hope to see you on the next one.